Hey guys, today we are going to talk about magic cards and how they got in cheaper. I will, I will take a look at a few legacy cards, a few modern cards, and a few casual cards and see what the price point is. As well as just go over is the, the original versus the cheapest version and how much you can save. So show and tell was a legacy staple. It has fallen out of favor, still a viable legacy deck, but no longer the tier one or 1.5 deck that it used to be. Still a good card, but uh, mainly EDH playable. Here we see that the Urza Saga edition is slightly less than half the Conspiracy Take the Crown. The show and tell Urza Saga edition is $29.12. While the Conspiracy Take the Crown is $14.94. One of the reasons that the Urza Saga edition is worth slightly more, it has different artwork from the Conspiracy Take the Crown edition, which has the same artwork, I believe, as the Judge promo. I will double check to make sure. So one of the things that you have to look at is artwork. If the artwork is unique to the original, the original will hold some type of value. So the next thing is Urza Saga. Yeah, I'm looking at the artwork right now that is the Judge promo artwork that is found in Conspiracy Take the Crown. So the show and tell artwork, which is semi-iconic, is only found in the original. Hence why it is almost double the price of the cheaper copy, as well as Urza Saga was a long time ago. Now, with everything being equal, the prices will be closer. And I will show you a price where it is very close due to, because it doesn't have either the time element and it doesn't have the second element where the artwork is different. So let me double check the artwork on this just to make sure. And that's the Dragon Maze edition. Let's take a look at the Modern Masters edition and has the same artwork. So when a card is more recent and has the same artwork, there will be a very slight price difference. Here, the Modern Master Edition is $12.71, while the Dragon Maze, the original copy, is $16.09. So there's only a difference of slightly more than $3 difference, which is not very much on a card like this. One of my concerns of them reprinting Dragon, May, uh, Dragon Maze's most valuable card and the token, which is the second most valuable card, is the fact that I don't know how stores are going to sell Dragon Maze boxes anymore. I did open Dragon Maze, but now, I mean, Dragon Maze was one of my favorite sets because it's really, you hit this card or you totally lose money. If you hit this card, you still lose a lot of money. Now it's just, you lose a lot of money. So in retrospect, it is quite interesting to see uh, the decline. And this card was recently $60 in 2016. So unlike show and tell, there wasn't this slight, this slow and steady and grindy decline. There was just a huge, huge plummet. And when you talk about voice of resurgence, it's a card that falls out of the meta and then goes back into the meta and it's one of those things that goes up and down quite often. So here we see a card where the cheaper edition is not that much cheaper than the original and it's because the artwork is the same and more importantly it's from a recent set. So how recent is recent? Well another factor that we have to look at is the casual appeal of a card. Now, Mythic Angels, Legendary Mythic Angels, have always appealed to casual players. And there is a player base that just loves them and would much prefer the original even if it has the same artwork. So, I'm pretty sure Levana has the same artwork. I'm going to go ahead and check that. It's really hard to remember the different artworks. Levana, Rise of the Adrazi, Here's Modern Masters. <laughs> yes, it has the same artwork. And then your question might be, why is it so much more expensive than the original? Rise of the Adrazi is an older set, but it's not as old, or the difference is not as much between 
show and tell being from Urza Saga compared to Take the Crown conspiracy. It's just from Rise of the Adrazi to Modern Masters 2017. The main reason I can figure this is the case, uh, Angel Collectors are going to always want the original one, and Casual Players are want, going to want the original one because it just... At, they look at magic differently. They're not looking at magic as in terms of card function. They're looking at it in terms of collectability. And the angels are extremely collectible. They are, they are very easy to trade into casual players for more staple, more modern staples and legacy staples. So Levana, while the Modern Masters 2017 version serves as a very good uh, version for people who just want the cheapest copy, the more pricey copy will always be the original, and in this case, it's more than two, even though the time span is less than the Urza Saga vs. Conspiracy Take the Crown from Show and Tell. Next, Damnation. Damnation, Damnation, Damnation. This is an interesting one to look at because the Judge promo, the Magic Player's Reward, which is the full art version, textless, I believe, and Damnation has just definitely fallen in price. It's been a casual superstar. And when you talk about Damnation being reprinted, it was the card that everyone wanted to have reprinted. And recently it was $72. And since then it has almost dropped. It has dropped by $30. A little less than $30, which is a substantial chunk of money, especially assuming that you have and you know you have four of them. I don't know why you would ever need four because it's not really modern playable, but maybe for different EDH decks. I will tell you the story of uh, something that happened on Strike Zone. I don't know if Strike Zone knows. I notice um, there was a buyer. Uh, his it was a wife wife's friend, and her husband had passed away, and she had this collection. and In the collection was. 24 copies of Damnation. I'm not sure how it got to 24 copies. He took it to Strike Zone, got it appraised. I had the ability to buy 24 of them, but I only bought one. I paid a guy up. I paid whenever, because uh, of the situation, I gave him a very fair price. I also purchased all those cards that were water damaged that Strike Zone didn't want to purchase. And then I ripped them on my YouTube channel, receiving many, many dislikes. So that didn't go well, but I did pay for those water damage cards. I did pay quite a bit of money, um, quite a bit of money for those damage cards because uh, it was something that Strike Zone wouldn't take. But I had the opportunity to buy 24 damnations, and I did not. Thankfully, I did not because of the reprint. At the time, they were they were like seventy two dollars at the time. So anyway, let's talk about casual. Staples. Um, there's no better casual card than I feel like in this one. Uh, mainly because it's good in ED8. I mean, casual players like it. I have a kitchen table deck that runs it with Channel and Fireball and just uh, random ODs. And uh, it doesn't really make sense in that deck, but I, I still like it. Kurt Ape and uh, what's that Jaguar from Urza Saga that I love so much. Anyway, this is a card that was a standard favorite hitting $34 almost, $33.99. And now you can get a Modern Masters version for $3 easily. You can get one on eBay right now. I think I was looking at them and they were $1.75 for, for up to 10, buy it now. This is what happens to standard cards that rotate out and then immediately get reprinted. This card was not it, it's different. I mean, the comparison I want to make is Voice of Resurgence. Voice of Resurgence was modern playable, and it gets in the meta, and it gets out of meta. This card was not modern playable. So that's the big difference on this card, and it takes a huger tumble. It just keeps tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. And when you talk about a casual card that is only used for casual and that's it and there's no collectors and no, there's no angel collectors or the collectors for this particular card are much more much less likely to want to inflate its price than Levana. Levana has some playability to her. This card in modern, this card has 
very, very limited playability. So when you talk about it, this is the card that will be the most inexpensive when a reprint happens. Something has to absorb the price. Tamagoyf already took a hit down to 87. Lily took a hit. Snap, everything is going to take a hit. But then the question you have to ask is, okay, everything took a hit. What's going to take the biggest hit? And it's cards like this. It's mythics like Domi Rod, which you honestly don't want to open. You wouldn't even want to open if it was a rare, if they downshifted it. And lastly, well, I guess we have a few more cards. We have two more cards. Grizzle Brand is something I wanted to talk to you in great detail, uh, mainly because the comparison is Avacyn. Not Avacyn from the newer set, Shadows of Innistrad, but Avacyn from the old set. Take a look at Avacyn's price and then take a look at Grizzle Brand's price. Now, Grizzle Brand is played more in Legacy than Avacyn is. Grizzle Brand is played in modern i mean yes it, it got the expertise deck breaking entering no longer is viable so you can't play in that deck but i'm sure somebody's playing a tier 4 reanimator build that is kind of fun but when you talk about grizzle brand and you talk about just the i mean he's only had two reprintings one of them is a gp gp promo and the other one is modern masters and he is down to six dollars and eighty cents I don't know the price of Archangel Avacyn right now, or not Archangel, Avacyn something something, the one from the same set, from Avacyn Restored, but it is very pricey. I know the foils are insane. I think one person was trying to sell me a foil for $55, and that was like a good deal at the time. It was a few months ago, and I just couldn't buy it, even for my Princess Cube, because... I think it was like not, it was not a original foil. It was like some other foil version. I knew it wasn't $55. If it was the original, I felt like that would be a good price. But when you compare something like Grizzle Brand that sees more play in the Eternal format with something like Avacyn that's more casually appealing, where is the money at? The money is in casual. The money is in the ED8. The money is in cards that were not reprinted yet. Now, will Avacyn see a reprint? Yeah, I know she will. It's only a matter of time. And then let's talk about a card that sees some play in Legacy, tiny bit of play in Modern. It's good the EDH card, Crater Hoof Behemoth. So when you compare Avacyn Restored, you have the Behemoth, you have Avacyn herself, which is very pricey. You have Grizzlebrand. Now you might ask, how does this card get more expensive than Grizzlebrand, being Grizzlebrand is being played probably more in Modern, and a little bit more in Legacy. Well, this is played in Elves, and the Elves just love this card. I mean, in 2016, November 2016, think about this for a moment. It's a $25 card. That was the point before Modern Masters. That was when we didn't even know Eternal Masters, right? We found out that we would get a second shipment of Eternal Masters a little bit later. I think maybe a month later. But at that time, everything was go uh, going according to plan. Look at the chart on this. It just keeps going up, 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 and then announcement, boom. So as soon as announcement hits, it's over. And that's why I would say for the future, when you speculate, if you choose to do that, choose to do it as a hobby, it's like when I play Fire Emblem. I know I'm going to spend money, and I know I'm going to bleed out money, but I'm okay with it. Because that's a hobby. The same way that you have to treat magic now. Now, a lot of people who offer paid articles, a lot of people who are MTG financing people, they will try to convince you otherwise. But I'm here to tell you the good old days where the charts are going to just go up and up and up, they're over. They are over. They were over when Eternal Masters got its second print run. That's when you see a huge decline in price on across all cards in modern. You do see some increases because they weren't reprinted, but the large majority of modern cards actually are reprinted. The necessary ones. And the, the graph that I showed in the last video, 4,500 becomes 1,400 very fast. In six months, that's what happened. If, if you had one copy of every modern staple, 
of the top modern staples according to MTD GoFish, $4,500 around November. And then a month later, you're sitting on less than $1,500. No amount of Fire Emblem orbs can compensate for this. Anyways, bye guys.